Many of my pieces are figurative pieces and what I try to achieve is, is a sense of, of movement, uh, often best exemplified in dance. So this is one of my dance pieces, it's Panari. Panari is the Indonesian word for dance or dancer. And what I was trying to capture here was just a sense of movement but without too much motion. So it's a quite a languid sense, the arms are held uh, gracefully and the clothes pick up the movement. Uh, if this was done now without the movement of the clothes, you wouldn't pick up the sense of, of motion that you pick up with this. Um, there was a smaller piece of this I did, which is the, the um, maquette, um, and that was called Ngoma. Ngoma is the Swahili word for dancing to a beat. So what I was trying to achieve with this is there is a sense of music, a beat music behind this movement. This is Odette. Odette is taken from Swan Lake, so the story of Swan Lake. Um, Odette is subjected to a, a, a magic spell and she's turned into a, a swan. And at night she transforms back into a maiden. So this is Odette at, at, in the evening as the light is going down and she's transforming from a swan back into a woman. So the movement is quite stylized. She has slightly longer arms and legs as the body transforms back into a woman. Um, in the story of, 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 of Swan Lake, Prince Sigrid uh, came to shoot the swans in the evening and he saw Odette transforming back into a woman and he fell in love with her. Many of my pieces have a story behind them. It helps me to conceptualize and make them. So many of the pieces I have uh, are taken either from um, opera or dance or theatre. But this is one of my very stylized, stylistic pieces, it's called Affirmation. And it's actually the form of a male, a female and a child, but in very, very abstract. Uh, at, the, at the bottom is the, the male holding up the female, holding up the child, and it's supposed to be uh, uh, alluding to the family. If you look at it from the side, you get quite a strong sense of the form of the female, and then the strength of the arms of the male holding up the, the family. Manon is the key main character in a, an opera by Massenet. It's a French opera. And what drew me to this piece, it's a very tragic story. Manon is, was a, a young girl in love with her boyfriend, but was lured away by a very rich um, mercantile individual who lured her into a lifestyle of decadence. Um, eventually she fell into poor times, into hard times, and reunited with her boyfriend. But this is her late in life when she's full of remorse and guilt and sorrow just before she dies in the last act of the, of the opera. Um, I tried to capture a very strong form. Um, in, in my pieces I actually try to do away with detail and capture the form of the piece. Well, and, and this piece here, which is Liberty, uh, is similar. This, is, this shows uh, a figure, a very abstract figure, a male figure, leaning forward, um, but in order to, to have the piece not topple over, there's this, these ribbons enhance the movement, but they also provide some stability to the piece. And then, quite an abstract version of Buddha, I call it, be at peace. Um, the patina of this one was picked specifically, so it would represent a stone. It's actually finished, it is actually a bronze piece, but we selected the patina so that it would look like it's carved out of sandstone or dark sandstone. Um, it's it's a, one I'm particularly fond of. I had a very small maquette of this and then I decided to, to make a larger piece um, and uh, to show a Buddha-like creature, Buddha-like person uh, praying at peace. This is Sentinel. It's a male figure, very abstract. It's, it's uh, representing strength. But if you look closely, but it has a, a shape that could be seen to be the shape of an Irish harp. This is a maquette for a piece that was commissioned by Avalon Aircraft Leasing. There's a seven foot version of this piece in polished bronze uh, in their offices in Shelburne Road. It's probably my signature piece um, and one I'm particularly proud of.